Hello guys, my name is Zishan Hashim and uh, I am uh, I'm teaching at Brunel University London and I'm also teaching at another place called BMC Institute London and since four or five years I am helping uh, students in UK how to write the research uh, proposal, research dissertation and thesis and I'm I'm helping the undergrad and the postgrad students mainly since the last one year means I am also helping PhD students how to start their research, especially about their first year. So this video, this is my first video about uh, helping the undergrad and postgrad students how to start their research because starting a research, planning a research is very important. And my email address is also given if you need any help, you can contact me later. So the, the first thing is, uh, okay, so there are some initial steps whenever you are uh, thinking about any, you can say the research question and when you are planning about your dissertation. The first thing is it's about you need to decide in which area you want to work. Uh, mainly means, you know, I help students who are doing research in the economics and finance and accounting field. So uh, whenever you are thinking about, okay, your dissertation, you need to decide, okay, in which area you basically want to work, in which area you have basically interest, and whether that area was relevant to your supervisor interest or not, or whether you have studied that module in your you know, the undergrad and postgrad or not, or there is one unknown area that is not relevant to your degree, or that's not relevant to the interest of your supervisor. So you should not go for it. So all these things you need to think about first. And then is the research about data, is that research which you are gonna do, is that about the data analysis, whether it is quantitative or it's the qualitative or descriptive, whether you want to write a long essay or you want to do a, a particular data analysis, kind of, you know, the regression analysis. And so first you need to know about the nature of your research and then start thinking about the research question because every research uh, means is very, uh, I mean, in every research, research question is, 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 is mainly important because all your research will, will be around it. And then, and then the other thing is that, uh, means five key consideration means, you know, you should uh, think about it. Basically, these are six considera consideration, you must think about it whenever you are deciding about your, uh, means uh, deciding about your research question. First thing is that it must be your personal interest. Means, you know, for example, if you are going to choose a research question, which is not uh, your personal interest, then you would be bored after some time. You will not like it working on it. The reason is that you will not have personal interest pursuing one research question means you can't means work on it for a longer period of time. In, 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 in the dissertation or the thesis, you know, if you are working for four months and six months, you will need to review what you have written. You, you need to read many papers. And when the papers, when you will write something, you will send it to your supervisor and then supervisor will give you the feedback and then you need to edit it and improve it again and again. So if that area is not relevant to your research interest or your personal interest, it means that you will not work on it with the with some time you will tired of it and you will not put your energy. And then the research question must be narrow. It's not kind of you are deciding about one big question or it means, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work on globalization. Okay, I'm gonna work on why uh, developing economies are still struggling, why not all people are rich in this world? So such kind of questions, these are very big questions. And the professors take 20 years, 30 years in order to think about it and make a big big, big story, big picture. So in your dissertation, your or thesis, your means your research question must be very narrow, very small, just like, okay, what's the impact of 
environmental policies on funds profitability okay what's the impact of trade liberal liberalization on the economic growth in one country so such kind of you know the narrow question are very relevant in the research and then the third thing is that whether you know is your research quantifiable whether the data is available whether you can test it or just you can make a theory or you can make a big idea but you can't test it if you can't test it don't go for it because then you can't you know write a good uh, uh, dissertation you can't do a proper research so the first thing is that whether the data is available what's the source of data whether that's the primary data or secondary data if it is the primary data whether you will be able to do it collect all the information within the time period of your research or not or if it's the secondary data what are the sources can you collect it so all these things especially about the data about the regression analysis about the testability this is very important you need to think about it and then the time table whether you will be able to finish your research in that particular time or if the research question is very big or the research will take a lot of time so in that situation don't go for it must think about your timetable timeline in which you need to finish your work and then again it must be doable you must be able to you know work on it otherwise if the research question is very big means for example you you think okay what would be the economic growth rate after 2050 if you are thinking about such a research question so you can't work on it it's not doable because after 30 years what would be the economic variables or financial variables or social and political variables you don't know so you can't test it so your research question must be and your research must be doable and uh, two main components of a research question the one is the research puzzle your research question must be based on one research puzzle and your research must contribute so these two things i will make another video the next video would be okay how to find the research puzzle and how you can decide about what are the research contribution but without thinking about the research puzzle means for example the wheel is invented and you are going to invent it, it again so that's total wastage of time so there must be some research problem there must be some theoretical problem or empirical problem there must be some problem and unanswered question or something like that means you know you need to find the puzzle and then go for you know solving it providing your contribution i will make another video and then you will understand it the so next video would be about it and some basic guidelines the first is that uh, if you are not able to decide about your research question and you are struggling uh, struggling in it the first thing is that read some relevant papers in your favorite research area and that's very easy go and go for the you know the google scholar go to uh, go to google scholar just put the title or the you can say the uh, the research area in which you want to work and then put uh, uh, means those uh, you know the uh, the titles and then find the papers and read some papers and then it would be and you will be able to find out some and there is another you know uh, sources as well I means for example there is one website its name is uh, vox.eu vox eu you go there and you will find um, many you know the, uh, summaries or the articles or the essays about different research projects when you will read that you will find some ideas and also means for example uh, if you if you want to work in the political economy so go to the journal of the uh, political economy journal of european political economy or the there is one another journal journal uh, public uh, uh, what's the name uh, public choice is the journal go there and the relevant you know the uh, research journal find out and read some papers there and then you will analyze that okay what are the research questions how are the people are working on it and then you can also replicate some research or if you have just six months okay go for some research question which is totally you know the new for example if one paper is published just in 2020 go for it and read and 
try to you know work in that research area or the same research question what they have done so that's the replication of research so if you don't have enough time and you are not finding any proper research question so then go for the replication but my suggestion is that if you have time you have energy and you are motivated find a good research question by yourself and it must solve one research puzzle and it must contribute otherwise go for some replication kind of thing and if you are still struggling and deciding about your research question so my suggestion is that you can contact me any kind of help for discussing your research idea you already have or you have you are struggling finding out the research question so you can contact me this is my email address and when you will send me the email then we can discuss about the time in which we can I mean you know on the zoom we can have a meeting and then we'll uh, further discuss all these things and i charge 50 pound per hour so this is my you know the uh, fee tuition fee as well so uh, i hope this video means you know help you a lot thank you